Hello and welcome guys to this interesting session of .NET Core 7 Blazor Server Apps. But here we are going to convert Blazor Server Web App to Blazor Server Windows application using Electron.NET and with the help of 10 command and 2 lines of code changes only. Guys, this will be interesting. So please stay tuned. And before starting the session, if you are new to my channel, Please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for future notification so that you will not miss my future sessions or future tutorials. And if you ended up liking my video, give me a like, share this video with your friends. Let's get started. Wait, 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 guys. I have created one more channel for moto vlogging, which name is Sunrider. I will give the link on video description also. Please do a subscriber. It's already three months and only I, I have only 189 subscribers. So guys, in my own channel, 5,000 subscribers are there. Please do subscribe and watch my journey through the natural ride of the Indian villages. Please, please, please. Okay, let's get started. Today, we are going to use Electron Net API. Okay. It building cross-platform Electron-based desktop app with .NET Core and ASP.NET Core. This package content API access to native Electron API. Okay. So this is the folder here I am going to create and I have few line of command which I will be writing in my command prompt. Guys, be concentrate on this. So in this folder practice blazor here I am going to open command prompt. Okay, line by line I will show here mkdir blazor demo. So it will create a directory blazor hyphen electron hyphen demo it created now we will need to enter to that path so cd folder name next we will add a new project dot net new blazor server project with no https dot net new blazor server dash dash no https it will take few seconds to create yeah the project is created now we need to add our dotnet electron api new get package for that i am going to put this command dotnet r package electron dotnet dot api done now we need to add one more tool that is called tool manifest dotnet new tool manifest enter done dotnet local tool manifest file was created now we need to install the .NET Electron.NET CLI. So, what is Electron.NET CLI? Let's copy this one and go to the browser. So, this is Electron.NET CLI. Okay, we need this one. So, for that, I have a command. This is .NET tool install .NET Electron.NET CLI. Go to command prompt, hit enter. done you can invoke now we need to initialize our electron so for this we need to add dot net electronize init in our command prompt enter done now we have to changes in our program.cs file go to the folder structure so you can see this is the folder structure and this is my project right upon the project double click it will open in visual studio 2022 here i will change make changes in my program.cs file guys to create kind of video it takes time it takes my effort to do rnd prepare the script creating the screen recording videos okay so please like this session give me a like Share your comments and suggestions in the comment box. It will be helpful for me. It will encourage me actually. Your comments give me motivation. So please give me a comment and like, like this video. Okay. So on program.cs, here in the builder, we need to add one more line that is called builder.webhost.
वेब होस्ट डॉट यूज इलेक्ट्रॉन ओके यूज इलेक्ट्रॉन ओके बिल्डर डॉट वेब होस्ट डॉट यूज इलेक्ट्रॉन इन द पारामीटर वी टू पास द आर्गुमेंट हुच इज क्रिएट बिल्डिंग क्रिएट बिल्डर पासिंग सो here we need a using statement using not electron net api next one more line we need to add at last before the run method what is that is tax dot run so what is tax dot run you can see what i am writing here tax dot run async await electron window manager dot create windows async Guys, till now I am not run yet. Actually, if I run this one without without putting, let's say, comment the particular two line of code which is I just added here, and go to command prompt. Dot net build. Once you like the command prompt, guys, you will not go to the UI mode again. Last few days, I am experiencing this command prompt, and okay, build succeed. Now dot run, run. Right. So this is my URL, which will be I am going to copy. Go to the browser sections. Right. So our Web part is running. Done. Stop the application from running. Okay. Now, what I am going to do? I am going to uncomment this code which I have added earlier, which is builder dot web host dot use electron. I am passing the argument here, parameters, string argument, and at last before app dot run, here I am doing tax dot run. Async await electron window manager dot create window async. Save this. No need of anything now here. Just close the Visual Studio from here now. Do you want to save? Yes, I want to save it. Okay. It got saved. Now there is one more command to run it, which is dot net electronize start. So paste this one here. You can put this command on the Visual Studio console or so package man management console. It will work. So you can see npm is starting. So local are deprecated using local global instead. Wait for few second. It will take time, guys. While waiting, please subscribe my both my channel, my current channel also, and one more channel which I have shown you. This one, Sunrider. You will find so many video 4K. 4K video you can find completely. Okay. So let's see. Okay, it's taking time. So you can see electron is starting now. A student core application connected. Yeah, our Windows application is got run. Right. This is our window application, completely Windows application. You can see file, edit, view. I can exit from here. Then it cancel, it close also. This is you can see go to bin, debug, net, .NET 7.0. There is a exe file which the project name I created. You double click this one, it will open our browser which is a local host. So we will not do like this. How we will do? Close this window. And we will go to our command prompt and we will publish this. How to publish this? To publish, we have one more command which is .NET Electronize Build slash Target. I am targeting Windows platform, so it will be Win. If you are targeting Mac, it will be Mac or it will be Linux. You can change the platform here. So let's go to. So you can see in the this this section bin debug dot net 7 point is there okay desktop is not there so now i'm going to my browser i my command prompt dot net electronize build slash target slash win hit enter it will publish my now 
I can get a exe file also. A setup file, a exe file goes on. So let's see how it is. It will create a desktop folder in my bin folder, debug and bin. For now, I'm keeping it purge. So it's publishing the application now. Installing the npm install, npm install production, then it is publishing. It is unpacking the Windows. So you can hold it and you can see the desktop, the folder will come once the publish file is publishing is complete. So you can see it is done and it is created debug desktop. So this is my exe file and this is an unpacked file so upon the unpacked directly double click on this exe you can find no need to install the setup you will directly open a complete windows for our blazor server apps or you can install from here also go to that part blazor setup.exe it will install it will desktop so i'll show you let it be, let it be installed Guys, these are the interesting one. <laughs> Legacy Windows applications developing and to be a more stylish, more friendly UI, it will be good. So you can see this is Blazor Electron demo. If I double click on this, it will open my desktop application only. So you can see, right? So I can uninstall also directly from my add or remove program you can see same will come here so i can go i can type that one i have a blazor electron demo on install yes right so in this way we can create a blazor server desktop app and we can publish or we can create a set of file guys i hope you like this session if you do give me a like share this video with your friends thank you very much